So, back to the arsenics. The first thing that comes to my mind is a scary, slithery monster who threatened to sink his fans and we are possible. But, did you know that the study of snakes is very fascinating and there's a small field of science dedicated to it? Well, let me walk. There are more than 3,000 snake species living everywhere in the world except New Zealand, Hawaii, Ireland and Antarctica. Most of you may think that the majority of snakes are venomous, but they are not. It is found that only 600 of the species of these limbless creatures possess venom for their survival. So next time, please don't hurt the poor rat snake. It is as innocent as it could be. Ophiology. So, the study of snakes is scientifically named as Ophiology. The science of Ophiology is divided into several subfields. One such important field is the evolution of snakes. So, in this video, let's look into the evolution of our scaly friends. Evolution The evolution of snakes has been a mystery for many scientists in the past. However, it's quite difficult to track down the evolutionary chain which leads to snakes, despite the existence of a large number of snake species. It is a common idea that snakes have been roaming the planet since the Cretaceous period for around 128 and a half million years from now. It has been found that the ancestors of snakes are veronic lizards, from research done by Alison Singh. It is found that ancestral snakes fully in their forest ecosystems had tiny, functionless limbs, a specific character that falls off during evolution. Also, these creatures may have been nocturnal too. Interestingly, this trait disappeared with time until it reappeared 50 million years later. The Cretaceous period is the last period of the Mesozoic era. It is closely followed by the Jurassic period in which the dinosaurs dominated the earth until they were assassinated by a friendly meteorite in the late Cretaceous era which passed by the earth to say hello Phew, good thinking New Generation The University of Pass suggests that all the modern snake species evolved from the few species that managed to survive the giant meteorite impact it is said that the ability to live underground and stay without food for long periods helped these creatures to move into a dormant period and survive the impact. And with the extinction of their threats, they were able to move into open new land and continents where they became the new rulers of the world. The largest snake fossil found is named Titanoboa serafoensis. The size of the snake's vertebrae suggests it weighed 1140 kilograms or 2500 pounds and measured 13 meters from nose to tail tip. Apart from this, Euphodophis, Hasiophis, and Pachyrachis, which are found in the Middle East, and a fossil named Najash, found in South America, are major important discoveries. In the